Acme Worldwide Enterprises, a small minority-owned business, was awarded a contract by the United States Air Force to upgrade the KC-10 Broom Operator Trainers located at McGuire and Travis Air Force bases. The program involved upgrading the image generator with the latest graphics technology, replacing the control loading system for the boom stick, replacing the iOS station with a touchscreen iOS mounted on an articulated arm, re-hosting the computer software and improvements to the host software. The new KC-10 bot provides the Air Force with a high fidelity training device and the enhanced capabilities required to effectively train boom operators. Capabilities of the KC-10 bot include enhanced boom dynamics, night operations, ground operations, special effects, drogue operations, and receiver control and movement. The KC-10 bot provides a set of simulated controls that allows the student to practice normal and emergency aircraft procedures in a safe environment under the guidance of an instructor. The simulated dynamics of the boom include boom flex, articulated control surfaces, accurate boom receiver interaction, and nozzle cocking. KC-10 bot provides a realistic training environment for night refueling operations. It provides an accurate representation of tanker floodlights and the boom nozzle light. Additionally, the receiver lights include receptacle and cell lights, formation lights, anti-collision lights, and navigation lights. The instructor has full control over all receiver lights. KC-10 bot provides a realistic training environment for training ground operations. 
It allows the instructor to teach the student all necessary pre-flight procedures, including the use of the status test panel. The trainer provides the instructor with the capability to show ground obstacles and to insert malfunctions. KC-10 bot provides a set of visual special effects to enhance the realism of the training environment. These effects include fuel spray, static discharge, clouds, scud, a variety of terrain, and time of day settings. The fuel spray effect is shown whenever a refueling disconnect occurs. The static discharge effect occurs only at night when the nozzle comes into contact with an electrically conductive surface. The trainer provides the instructor with the ability to set cloud altitude and density. The instructor can also activate SCUD, placing the simulated refueling environment inside a cloud layer. The trainer provides the instructor with the ability to place the training environment over various terrain backdrops. These backdrops include mountains, desert, generic vegetation, and sea. The trainer provides the instructor with the ability to select the appropriate time of day for the given refueling mission. The time of day settings include dawn, day, dusk, and night. The KC-10 bot provides full training capability for both the centerline drogue and wing-mounted air refueling pods. All boom-operated drogue controls are fully functional, responding correctly to operator commands. The instructor has full control over the receiver, including maneuvers, connects, disconnect, and emergency operations. Drogue malfunctions, such as loss of basket on disconnect and loss of basket with oscillating hose, are also provided. KC-10 bot provides the instructor with complete control over all receiver aircraft. The instructor can select either manual or automatic receiver modes of operation. In automatic mode, instructor input is minimal. He simply selects a predefined position. 
acquisition, pre-contact, or contact. The receiver aircraft responds to the instructor's commands, maneuvering realistically between the predefined positions. In manual mode, the instructor has the ability to fully control the receiver aircraft using joystick input. The instructor can then use this ability to demonstrate specific real-world scenarios to the boom operator. The receiver aircraft responds accurately to improper or abusive contact with such features as broken windows, dents, and scratches. The instructor also has the capability to place receiver aircraft into a turn, simulating refueling in a bank. KC-10 bot provides the ability to refuel 16 distinct receiver aircraft. The F-15, the F-16, the F-22, the F-117, B-1B, B-2, B-52, A-10, E-3A, KC-135, C-130, KC-10, C-17 C-5 F-18 and F-14 